Howdy, welcome back. I don't know if you saw my most recent video, but I did find a basket for our dining room for our hanging basket light. Let me show you real quick. So in the last vlog, I was trying to find a basket to go over the dining room table, turn it into a light. I debated plenty of baskets. I ended up with the Ikea one that you just saw there, and um, I do have a tutorial for that, so I'll link that below. And also, if you watched the last vlog, I was working on this cane to seat, um, and it was, oh my God, so frustrating. Um, but I learned a lot. And I haven't started working on the second one, but I did finish the first one, and you guys will see that eventually. I'm, uh, I have so many other things I'm going to do before I, I reveal what those are going to look like. And I'm probably gonna put those off for a little while because the next thing I'm going to do is our kitchen. And I talked a while back, if you watch any of my vlogs, any of the videos that I put out that are not tutorials, then you'll know that I was talking about doing our bedroom next. But I'm going to put that on hold because we decided to work on our kitchen and it wasn't planned. Let me tell you why. So my kitchen's a little bit of a mess right now, but um, basically what happened was our garbage disposal broke in our kitchen sink, okay? This is like an old stainless steel, very cheap sink and we hate it, but we, we really didn't have a reason to replace it. We just really couldn't justify the money that it costs. Oh, Miles turned one, so there's this giant one balloon. Um, but anyway, so the garbage disposal broke, and then it was like, well, we need to fix, we need to replace the garbage disposal, so we might as well replace the sink, and then it was like, well, we might as well replace the countertops. So um, I have a, a lovely friend who's helping me out with that, and we're gonna hire somebody to actually replace these really ugly, um, Countertop. So we'll have white quartz in here, and I just got a white sink in from Kohler. Um, it's just a plain white undermount sink. It's not a farmhouse sink. I wish I could have a farmhouse sink, but the uh, cabinets under here are just, they're too big to do what I would want to do, and it's a lot to explain, but I did have to do a lot of research to kind of figure that out. But anyway, we're gonna do an undermount. Um, as much as I would love a farmhouse sink, that'll be for my forever home one day. Cause this is not our forever home. We're just planning to be here for maybe like four or five more years. So anyway, the biggest project in this room is going to be this kitchen island here. We feel like it's a little dated. Um, of course there's just stuff all over it all the time. It's really like not the greatest use of space and storage. It's very far away from like where I work, like the stove and everything here, and it's just kind of like way over there, you know what I mean? So the angle, like I said, is a little dated. I'm gonna take that out. We have lots of ideas for the kitchen island. Maybe do a butcher block top. We'll make it square to the kitchen, and we're just so excited. But today, what I'm doing is, I'm going to put trim on these windows because Right now, these windows in here just have a sill. There's nothing around them. And let me show you how weird it looks. I know there's a lot of light coming through here, but I'm gonna show you just it looks really, really weird to me. Okay, here's a better view. And you can see the windows don't go to the top of the cabinets. So it just looks a little off to me. I wanna build that up. And I've talked about this book before. It's called A Touch of Farmhouse Charm. I freaking love this book. My friend Ashley had it on her coffee table years ago and I looked through it and I immediately like, I ran out and got it because there's some really just good little things in here. I don't want my whole house to look farmhouse. I think I say that all the time. Like, I don't want a farmhouse house, <laughs> but I like some of the farmhouse ideas. So anyway, in here is this whole thing about adding farmhouse window trim. See that there? And so I got on Pinterest. I saw that there are other people who've done that. You can really just build up the window. I have a ton of wood downstairs. I need to look through it to see if I have something that will work for it. But I think I'm gonna have to go to Home Depot today. Then I wanna hang these bamboo blinds. I have some inspiration pictures, so I'll put those right here so you can see. I really just like the way the natural bamboo looks against white, and I'm planning on keeping everything mostly white in here. So I just think it adds an element of just like nature and it just looks really pretty. So once Miles wakes up, he's taking his first nap right now. So once he wakes up, we'll head on over to Home Depot and get what we need. Here's a quick look at the sink we got for our kitchen. Like I said, it's not a farmhouse, so this will just be, you know, there'll be countertop all the way around it. 
but it's very plain. There's no divider and it just has a single hole in the middle and I couldn't be more excited about it. Down in the garage, we have a ton of wood down here just like left over from projects. So I'm feeling pretty confident about being able to use some of this. What are you doing? to get a truck because anytime I buy wood I have to just like wedge it like in between the seats so I can close the trunk and I drive a stick so it's not really fun like having something right here anyway um, that was loud that was the windshield wipers I'm just making Miles some lunch. He gets pretty demanding when it's time to eat, so I don't have an issue figuring out whether or not he's hungry. He certainly lets me know. So we've got some bananas, some apple sauce that I made. Um, you may have seen me make that in my last vlog. I always make applesauce for him, and then I have some roasted carrots and sweet potatoes, and I bet you he'll throw every one of those carrots on the ground. I may or may not have made a bacon and cheese sandwich. One will never know. <laughs> Alexa, play. Okay, I cleared off my counters and Miles is down for a nap now, so I can start working on uh, building out these uh, window frames. I swear I always think I'm gonna be able to get more done than I actually do get done. I thought I would actually finish hanging the wood today, but <laughs> I'm halfway through that. Let me show you what I did. So Miles is waking up, I need to be quick, but I got the frame around each one because it didn't have a frame, it only had a windowsill. So those are one by twos, and I got both windows done with that. So it's a start. And I would have gone a little wider than I did, but I didn't want it to go past uh, where the windowsill already is. So I think that's kind of perfect. It's pretty mild out today and Miles is feeling a little fussy. So I think we're gonna actually go on a walk because that usually fixes things for us. I put your shoes on. Oh, oh thank you. Where's your other shoe? Since the kitchen is such a mess tonight, I'm going to make leftovers, which consists of, <laughs> what's so funny? Which consists of chicken that I made in the crock pot. I just threw like four chicken breasts in the crock pot last night with some taco seasoning and some salsa and it just makes like a really good like taco chicken. And so I'm just gonna throw those um, into some burrito shells, a little avocado, some lettuce, tomato. Um, we use Greek yogurt instead of sour cream. And that's what we're gonna eat tonight for dinner. Here's the Mexican uh, salsa chicken. I get these low carb uh, tortillas. So I don't feel as bad about eating them. One of them is only five grams of carbs.
Okay, I'm feeling much, much better. My hair is kind of, <laughs> looks like a wig today. <laughs> but I um, washed it with some Dr. Bronner's um, Castile soap, and I don't know if I'd recommend that for like every day, because I feel like it kind of stripped my hair just a little bit, but it actually was kind of what I needed. I think I had a little bit of like product build up in my hair, and now it's like very fluffy and very healthy without being like frizzy, and it just looks a little bit like a wig. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna start on these windows because Miles is sleeping and um, I don't have a ton of time before he wakes up from his first nap, but I'm gonna try to get done what I can. So I cut these boards. I've got a one by four that's an inch wider than the window, two one by twos that are two inches wider than the window, and then a one by three that is three inches wider than the window. And all of that will go on top of the window. I made a little bit of a mistake. <laughs> so I'm fixing it on the second one, but I had a hard time painting on like the sides of the frame because the cabinet was so close. So on this one, I haven't hung it yet, but you can see I'm painting the side of it, but I'll still have a hard time painting between the cabinet and the frame here. I just didn't really think about that. <laughs> so if you do this project, make sure you paint the sides of your wood before you nail it in that would make it a lot easier. I mean, I'm able to fit like a small brush in between, but it's definitely not easy. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna finish painting tonight. And so what I'll probably do is end the vlog here and then tomorrow when the lighting is better because it's getting ready to get dark right now, I will add a little clip um, of the frame all done and you'll see that right here in just a second. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.